Hey, hey, good day, tubers. This is Professor Neil Voss, and welcome to part 1B of my protein structure series. This is a short video demonstrating how to install the UCSF Chimera protein imaging software for Microsoft Windows computers. So, the first step we're going to need to do is open up our web browser. Uh, and if we search for just Chimera, we're going to end up with the mythical monster consisting of the head of the lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a snake. Not really what we're looking for. We are interested in the UCSF Chimera version of it. And I see that Google has remembered my history, so that was the number one hit. So you can go directly to the download page, or you can click on the main page and then navigate to the download page from the left menu here. For most people, you're going to download the Microsoft Windows 64-bit. It runs on Windows 7 or later. So I'll get this started here. Uh, we scroll down, we hit accept, and the download should start momentarily. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome, so the download will show up here on the bottom. For those people running older computers, Windows XP, Windows Vista, 32-bit machines, uh, you're going to need to go to old re releases here. If you're not sure what version of a computer you have, you can the easiest way I found is to click on the Start menu, go here, right-click on Computer, and then Show Properties. And you can see here it shows me that I'm running Windows 7, and under System Type it shows 64-bit operating system. So that means I can use the main one. But if it says 32-bit operating system or uh, an older version of Windows. You'll need to scroll to the old release page here. Uh, and then we need to scroll down to the 32-bit software section. So there's a lot of 64-bit versions, but there we just passed 32-bit releases. We scroll down just a little bit and we get to the first Microsoft Windows version that it says Win32. This will run on older computers. So if you're not sure or you're having trouble running the 64-bit the, uh, version, I highly recommend downing, downloading this version in the same way and saving it to your computer. So for those people using Google Chrome or something similar, you can actually just double click here and it'll run the program. But I'm gonna navigate by going to my home folder and then clicking on downloads on the side here. I can now find the Chimera installer. So I'm gonna double click on that, click run, allow it to make changes to my computer. I can close this big window here. Next, accept the agreement. Click on next where we wanna save the files, create a menu create a desktop icon. This is how I'm going to be using to launch the program and then click install. This is a pretty long installer. It goes fast at the beginning and then slows way down around here. So I'll just speed up the video at this point. All right, as the installer finishes up here, after it's done, it's going to pop up a menu that's asking you to pre-compile Python modules. I highly recommend you do this because if you don't, uh, next time you start it, you're off to do it anyway. So this will take a little bit of time. So again, we'll kind of fast forward through this part. All right, so after the installation of the program, let's go ahead and open it with our new icon it created on the desktop. So I'm going to do a quick preview of what the assignment is for next week. Basically, I'm going to give you an ID. I'm going to use 2LYZ today, but you're going to get a different ID. And I would download PDB M M C I F. Um, sorry, I've made my window kind of crazy. Click on the fetch button, and now it'll open up a structure. Uh, the way to go when you're first getting started is use one of the presets. I recommend Publication 1, Publication 2, and Publication 5 is kind of my favorite ones. Uh, you go under File, Save Image. Look at which folder you're saving the image to. You can see it's saving it to the desktop. I'm going to name it Image. I'm going to call it maybe Image Protein or something. I'll maximize it so I can see my Save button. Click Save. And now I can close the program, and now I have a new image of a protein on my desktop. So that's pretty much all you need to do besides answer the questions on the web for the first assignment. Thanks for listening. The script for the video is in the description below. Uh, let me know in the comments if you had any struggles or issues with this uh, procedure, or if you have any ideas for future videos. So, from the wise worlds of Carl Sagan, science is more than a body of knowledge. It's a way of thinking. Thank you.